So guys, welcome back to more AFK Journey. Now it's been some time since uh, I played this game. It's been like a week or so. I was really busy with uh, some personal stuff and work. So yeah, now that's gone, I'm back. I'll be playing uh, this game some more and hopefully uploading some more videos for you guys. So yeah, let's see how this goes. So. The current mission that we have is Merlin's Ward, as you can see here. We need to talk to Hogan, and uh, we are already here. So let's go and talk to him. He is right here. General Hogan, we're back. It all went well. Chippy, you're getting too excited. Of course, Magister Merlin was going to fix the seal. Right? Hmm. Yep. I am. I don't need details. It's an honor to have you here, helping Rihan. Come with me. I'll need your help with the interrogation. Steak, good brew, and freshly caught eels from the lake. Oh, also, here are some nuts for you to enjoy. Ah. <sighs> It's not often that the general is this generous. Unfortunately, we won't be able to enjoy this feast with you. You're not saying no to my hospitality, are you? Well, we have to take or make a trip to the Dark Forest. The Dark Forest? Uh, you mean the woodlands north of Hollistone? I heard there's been trouble in that region lately. The Wilders hold dominion in those lands. Even though it's only across the river, as a magistrate of the Lightbearer Empire, I have no authority beyond Hollistone. General, long story short, he has been invited by the Wilders to help solve a crisis that is very similar to what Ryham has gone through. So, something strange is happening over there as well. Don't worry about it. I understand that nothing is more important than the safety of the people. I'll pray to Jura for you. I hope your journey goes well, and you return safely. Okay, thank you. And with that, I'm off. Magister, are you leaving without me again? Ah, oh, Muriel. Ah, uh, you're mistaken. Magister Merlin, are you embarking on a new journey? I was talking to Miss Muriel about the principles of a magic circle, but I finished you were gone. Miss Muriel? Are you going with Magister Merlin? I'm sorry if I was wasting your time earlier. No need to apologize. I'm well aware that Magister Merlin is always running off to find the next disaster. Like oil and water, we can never mix. I'm destined to be without her company. Never mind. I'm used to waiting for him. At least this time you won't forget me, right, Magister? Of course not. I won't forget. That's all I needed to hear. Magister Merlin, I'll remain here with Miss Muriel and observe the results of the seal's restoration. We'll be able to see Ryham flourish once again. Dura above, wherever you may roam or stay, may your magic light the way. Okay, uh, Marlin's ward, find the boatman. Find the boatman. So I guess the boatman is actually, if I remember, right here. Yes, uh, because that's the place we did not go in this area. So that's the place I remember. So let's see if I... If we go that way one thing I think I have to show you guys so currently the levels like these are the levels of the um, heroes that we have uh, I wanted to keep them to 75 70 because uh, you Shield know for others, I still need to you know, evolve or promote this guy and the good thing is I had drawn another 10 uh, card gacha system and you know i got you're the only one Thoran. never betrayed me 
Thoran is really good. We will He's a very, pay. very good, uh, you know, uh, hero. Uh, I really like him. So what I would do is... I still do not... Uh, like, I have not yet played with him. But I want to replace Lucius with Thoran because Thoran is really good. That's what I know. And he also has a second life, if you did not know. You will see. Um, if we fight, you will see. So let's go this way. And, oh, there's some, yep. And we'll see how this goes. There's the boatman. I hope you are re you all are liking this game, you know, uh, because, you know, I am seeing a lot of comments and stuff. So thank you very much for all the love and support. But uh, yeah, that being said, let's talk to this guy. Marlin's Ward. What's wrong, bunny ears? Is there an issue with the boat? No, the boat's fine. It's at the docks. Hasn't moved since I got here. Things have been a little messy in the dark forest lately. Do you really have to go? We're going there to fix it. You? I guess, since you're a wilder, maybe you won't have a problem. Here's the deal. I'll get you there, but I won't do anything else. Sure, sure. Same rules as before, then. Ah, oh, please tidy up a bit more. These are my guests, and I can't have them stuffed into the cargo hold like I was. Wait, what? You were in the cargo hold? I didn't have a lot of money. It was fine, but there's no way I'd let you do that. Ah, thank you very much, Larson. Then it's time to set sail. Dark Forest, I have returned. Chapter completed, Rhyham Tales. Okay, so this chapter is done. Now we start a new chapter for the Dark Forest. Okay, quest completed, Merlin's Ward. And now we have a new map right here. As you can see, Dark Forest. Okay, good. Let's go here once, I think. Um... Oh, I still need to find a large chest and some chests here to make this complete, but okay, we'll do that later. So. What do we need to do? Go to the dark forest. Oh! What's happening here? The dark forest should be wilder territory, but it's swarming with light bearers everywhere. Plus, people here seem like they've been wallowing in the mud. All grubby and upset. Hmm, something is not right. What happened here? Since you have a ship, it's best to depart from here. If there's space on your ship, kindly consider taking these refugees too. Um, refugees? Listen up, Corin, my friend. Regardless of your identities and origins, this place doesn't seem fit for camping. It's pretty damp and cold by the river. You should take everyone to the forest and let my people take good care of them. Those bunny ears. Are you one of the wilders? You bet I am. Thanks to my ears, I was able to hear them say your name. You lot issued an exclusion edict and are forcing refugees to leave the dark forest. I haven't had a chance to sort things out with you. Look at the weak and elderly. Is this the Wilder's way of welcoming guests? What happened to your once peaceful and benevolent demeanor? Hold on, hold on. What exclusion edict? Enough talk. I'm taking them into the forest no matter what it takes. Okay, so we have a fight here. Um, 
So instead of Lucius, I'll put Everyone Thorin here. Must pay a price. There you go. And yeah, we'll see how this goes. I'm not sure because I've never played with Thorin, as I said before. But uh, we'll see. Oh, okay, so we did not need to kill him, just defeat him, I guess. Ouch. My arm. You're injured? That shouldn't be. My blade hasn't even touched you. Oh my, you're hurt! How about listening first before diving into action? Hmm. A sword wielder. Two talking hamsters. And you? Who are you all, really? Hmm, well, we are here to help and ordinary travelers. Yeah, I think I would say we are here to help. What are you going to do about the exclusion edict? Even if that bunny-eared boy gets in, the Wilders will still drive you guys out. Because you're all outsiders in the eyes of the Wilders, just like us. Mr. Corn, we were invited to come down from Hollistone to help with some small problems in the forest. If I still can't gain your trust, here's my heroic order emblem. And as for these few... Hmm, okay. Use your imagination. He's my guard. Fallon is my boss. <laughs> yeah, I think that... I really want to say he's my guard. But... Um, I don't know. Maybe... We try to say that, you know, he's of the heroic order, the Lightbearer Empire, and he brought us, so he's like my boss. Let's see what happens. Please, Magister. I'm not up to shouldering that title. <laughs> okay. I, I tried. This is my friend and his hamster familiars. As you can see, he is a great mage. You don't have to tell me. I learned that a moment ago. Now that you've introduced yourselves, here's the story. These refugees from the Remnant Peaks had their village attacked by golems. They've come to the Dark Forest seeking help. They also sought help from Hollistone, but something odd occurred there, and their pleas went unanswered. Forced to flee, they've ended up here. Well, talk about coincidence. We happen to be the ones involved in the Hollistone incidents. What? You... No, 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 don't get me wrong. What I meant to say is that's too bad. If you go to Hollistone now, I'm sure those soldiers would be willing to take you in. These refugees have faced hardships on their journey, with many being elderly or disabled. Now, with the ships to and from the Dark Forest widely suspended, they can't leave immediately. You just arrived here from Hollistone. I understand that you may not be familiar with the Forest's expulsion of refugees. Sorry for my impulsive behavior earlier. That's okay. Well, so what is the exclusion edict? A very simple and cruel order. Non-Wilders are strictly forbidden from entering the forest. Those who enter and stay are promptly expelled without question. Unbelievable! The Dark Forest has always been a welcoming place for friends from afar. Particularly around the docks where there are camps for traders and travelers. You are half right. Those camps have indeed been a lifesaver, sparing the refugees from rough nights after a long journey. But the exclusion edict is also true. Okay. So, could this also be related to the corruption that we're trying to solve? I... I don't understand. Why are my people blaming the humans for the corruption? I guess I've been away from home for too long. Something seems off. How about we have Lorsen lead us to the forest and see for ourselves? Just standing around won't help. Let's go investigate further into the corruption and the exclusion edict. Let me lead the way. I need to know what's the deal with this exclusion edict. Okay, chapter unlocked, Lucent's Lament, and uh, if you have played AFK Arena, you would know who this is, that's uh, a wilder hero um, named Aaron. I really like Aaron, he's really cool, but uh, so this is a new chapter, and there will be, 
Some new quests. Let's see. Whispering Woods. Okay. Okay, there's some side quests as well. Okay, maybe you know what? I would uh, complete these side quests later on in another video. But as of now, we'll start with this main quest. Let's uh, go back. Wait, there's something here. Ah, complete the chapter. We did that. What is this? Artifacts. Okay. We can level this up. Very good. Nice. That's it. Okay. So. This uh, waystone is activated. And there's... Obviously... A fight here, I guess. Yes, it is. Okay. Everyone must pay a price. Okay, that looks fine to me. Okay, well, that's done. Is deserved. Very well. Miasma cleared. So one out of seven, so seven areas together, I guess. But that's a treasure right there. There's a lot of enemies here. I'll clear them later on, no problem. Okay, let's see. Um, some more stuff here. There you go, that's one done. Mail. Compensated survey. Okay, we can do that later. We're just getting some rewards and stuff. Fine. And... Yeah, now we just need to go and talk to the refugees here. Appeasing mother. Mr. Corrin, are there any ships at the dock? No, there are only a few half-dilapidated ships. I met a wilder who's willing to help, so maybe with his support I can go into the forest and talk things over with the person in charge. Once the edict is lifted, you'll be free to enter the forest and recuperate. Is little Jonathan's fever down? He's fine now, all thanks to the herbs you found. Since there's still hope of getting into the forest, I will stay here a little longer and do my best to take care of everyone. Miss, I noticed there are still quite a few elderly people and kids in the tents. Are only a few of you taking care of this big camp? When the golems attacked our village, the men insisted on having the elderly and children evacuate first, so only the mothers came along. We need someone to stay here and ensure they're safe. Considering their shortage of supplies and manpower, leaving them here could put them in danger. Whether it's lifting the exclusion edict or removing the corruption, there's no time to lose. I will stay here. Mr. Corrin, Lorson, and you, please head to the forest first. Oh, that would be nice. Uh, wow, how chivalrous. Uh, but if you stay... Yeah, I think the first one. Sorry. Allow me to go back on my word for the sake of protecting these poor folks. <laughs> yeah, of course. The heroic order truly lives up to the ideals of justice and bravery. Balin, I'm counting on you to protect Clementine and the rest. Don't worry. Anyone who dares lay a finger on him shall face my spear first. Okay. Cool. So, that's done. 
And now we need to enter the forest. So that's this way. Okay. Let's um, check this side as well. Why not? Okay. Okay, so this is like closed at the moment. Totally understandable. Illuminate all the stone paths. Okay. Just by walking. Okay, nice. Got that and we have a waypoint here. Um, you know what? I think that's uh, really cool. Really nice. But um, so this video, what I tried to do was, okay, you know, we finished the previous uh, thing, um, the previous chapter, the previous quest, and now Raiham. We have left Raiham and we have come to the Dark Forest. So this is a completely new chapter and a completely new area as well. So that's really interesting. But with that being said, uh, I think I'll just keep this video till here where we are, you know, exploring or just entering and getting to know about the situation in Dark Forest and next from the next video onward we'll dive deeper into the Dark Forest and explore why or try to solve what this mystery is. So that being said thank you very much for your all your love and support. You guys are the best audience ever. In all my videos thank you for all my love all the love and support you provide. Um, I really appreciate that. That being said guys thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video.